just gonna say it. I love museums. Jackie, this is the Immigrant Historical Society. It's just gonna be poor people's bodies mounted and stuffed with newspaper. Look at these pictures of old New York. Can you imagine how great Christmas was back then? You know, horse-drawn carriage rides and carols sung by candlelight. You'd walk down the street and say, Merry Christmas, sir. And he'd say, same to you. I like the shape of your mustache. And I'd say, I like yours too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you didn't even have gay game a hundred years ago. I feel so much better. I'm never gonna complain about anything ever again. <laughs> Ready to take that tour? Ugh, oh, really? We're still gonna do this? We're about to enter the fully preserved tenement of an Irish immigrant, the widow, Carolyn O'Sullivan. Welcome to Christmas, 1912. Where is she? I think she's still asleep. I'm so hungry. Where's Ma? It's Christmas morning and she's not out of bed yet? I think she was drinking again last night. Ah. <laughs> Nice dream. I was rich, and none of you was here. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mother. All right, me children. It's time for your Christmas presents. Gather close. If we were any closer, we'd be our own aunts and uncles. No one likes a funny girl, Mary. <laughs> now, do you want your Christmas onion or not? Then hold baby. Why doesn't baby have a name, Ma? You know she'll get a name if she survives the winter. <laughs> Don't want to get too attached. <laughs> all right, children. Onions for all of you. Pour me a drink, Smitty. <laughs> what if you run downstairs and give an onion to old man Flannery? Old man Flannery's gone. He was beaten to death with a pipe by an anti-Irish mob. They found his rotted body in the East River. <laughs> to say to cheer your mother up. <gasps> oh, me stars. If that's the landlord, come for the rent we're done for. Under the staircase you go. Oh, if he sees you, he'll, he'll take you to work in his sweatshop. Top of the Christmas morning to you. <laughs> William Howard Taft, you are fabulous. Why, thank you, kind sir. But who are you? And why are you knocking on me door? The name's John Patrick, and I'm a sailor looking for a bed to rent between boats. Oh. You want to rent from me? It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, I don't have any money. Never mind. But one thing I can offer is that no matter how bleak and depressing life may be, I'm always happy and gay. You do seem surprisingly gay. I can't help it. Everything about this city makes me gay. <laughs> Especially all the beautiful girls I have intercourse with. It's settled then. You're steeing. Open the door. It's your landlord, Mr. Van Billiam. As in Billum von Billiams? He's one of the richest men in New York. And one of the cruelest. His heart is black as coal, and no one knows why. Oh, I've spelled on your coat. Take it off and I'll wash it for you. <laughs> This is O'Sullivan. You are late with the rent. You forced me to leave my wife on Christmas to travel to this filthy, godforsaken neighborhood full of lazy scum, and that has put me in a very bad mood. A mood that has soured my day. A mood that has... Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hi. Are you, are, are you Mr. O'Sullivan? Sir, he's me new boarder. John Patrick McGee. I wear me manners. Let me put my coat back on. No, 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 no. Leave it off. <laughs> no need for modesty. <laughs> Not the first time I've seen a man's naked arms. <laughs> I've seen that the usual amount of times. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> and it is, it is hot as Hades in here. <laughs> I, I, I almost feel like taking off my own coat. Not that I would. I never would. <laughs> it's a preposterous suggestion. I won't have you make it. <laughs> I'll have my money by sundown. 
or I'll see you out in the streets. Ooh. Mm. 